I should really, even though I banned Shaman, like, this deck is re one of the stronger ones against Shaman. So, I think this is a great deck for laddering. Might even just be the best deck for laddering. But I haven't, I haven't really played a whole lot of ladder this season because I was preparing for VSG, so. Also, I don't know if this Rabidin Ghoul should be in the deck for for ladder. In the group stage, I had Rabidin Ghoul because it was good at dealing with aggro decks. Uh, it it upped my matchup versus Pirate Warrior and Shaman a whole lot because I didn't ban Shaman throughout group stage. But uh, for uh, for ladder, you might want something else because you're not really trying to bully the aggro decks the same way as you're trying to do in the tournament. Ah, Herald's fell power totem. How nice. Both face. <laughs> Thank you, Tamiria. We're winning more with Jadrid. I'm glad that works for you. I don't think two book rooms is necessary at all. Like, I think the one book rooms is very, very borderline in this deck. I would never put in the second. I don't think I would never put in an eighth dragon, just because, like, the the seventh dragon is not ideal in this deck. You would much you would love to play six dragons in this deck, but it just that then you run into some real consistent problems. What the actual fuck? Oh, <laughs> this guy's about to get fucked. I actually gave him. I'm gonna start farming cards with this Norshack Cleric that he just gave me. <laughs> Look at all these cards I'm getting. Even Black and Corruptor here. Yeah, yeah, I want to save the War Axe in play. And I don't mind if he has this in play. This way I can play the Curator and kill something next turn. I think uh, that's actually a skill that is like way, way more important than it's have ever been in Warrior. Is like how to, when you should preserve your weapons. Oh, don't you dare la high roll. Oh, thank, thank god. Like how often you should preserve the weapon in Dragon Warrior these days. Because your weapons are very, very key. Uh, still is like the creator here. I, I I don't know what goes into the ball deck, but I think it could have hex in it.
Eli, thank you so much for the host. I appreciate it. Oh, there was X. Thank God. Uh, do we just slam rag then? I kind of want to. Other lines would be like... Direction with Crusher Ping. Asher Drake, Fierce Monkey. By fire, be purged. Oh boy, it's like it's something. Will be executed as five fire. Uh, I could also just ping the 1-1 one, one play. I can't play my small guys really at the moment because uh, because it's 5-5 five, five, just eats it. If I go, like even if I go Twilight Guardian, ping execute, you can just use the 4-4 four, four and the Jade Claws and then it heals back to 4-4 four, four, so that's not good. I, I actually think Draconid Crusher plus uh, Ping is just the best line of play here. If I Bookworm, I can um, hit one of these more consistently, but um, my Bookworm is just bad on board, whereas a 9-9. Yeah. Okay, come on, I have more than 50% chance that this is good. There we go. Midrange, show did Colento play Devolve? <laughs> okay, not quite lethal. Oh shit. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. Hit one of the eight golems over his face, please. There we go. That's my rag. That's my rag. <laughs> uh, feels good, man. Feels good. Better player one. <laughs> what up, Spo? Double Twilight Garden versus Mage actually seems pretty good. I just want big minions, like the same way as uh, Priest wins against uh, Reno Mages, that you just have minions that are really hard for the sweepers to kill. I think this hand is like very close to the dream versus uh, Reno Mage, honestly. Oh yeah, yeah. E enjoy Spo. And hello Sagner. Uh, he kept two cards, so I think he could have kept those. So I'm actually just gonna do this attack here. But. Um, if it didn't have, if it didn't keep two cards, I would have always. Uh... Oh no, unlucky! 
I can't kill it one off. Uh, but if I didn't think I'd do is like you never ever attack there because you don't have another weapon and you don't play that many. It's not like in Pirate Warrior where you just try to use all of your weapon charges really quickly. The curator is also insane in this matchup. Ugh. The four damage mode is very very good against her hand and looks like he got it because he does this attack. Now he just gets the ping, but at least he's not playing his potion. Hey Dame Frost, thank you, thank you so much. It's been a good couple of weeks lately, to say the least. I can't ping together with that, so I'll do it. Ooh. If I double axe champion to the face, I double champion to the face, do 10 damage here. I can next turn actually make a 9 9 if I want to. He's gonna play the Kasaka's potion for 4 damage to everything. Could also just Black Queen corrupt him in the face here and follow up with Core Crown Alex Ross's champion. I don't think it's out of his range to have Polymorph here or Lipnine. If I do the double Alex line, even if he just has like the 4 damage and a demon, like. My 9 9 is not gonna do a whole lot. I actually think this is just better. Uh, should I attack here? That way, this plus this makes a 9 9 next turn, so I think it's worth it. Now he needs to deal with both of these. Yeah, yeah, like. The one-offs looks very random, but we put a lot of testing into deciding that these are the correct one-offs and these are the right numbers on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there we go. He has two kept cards in hand. One of them is very, very likely Reno. So, Alex Champion plus Corcoran Elite seems weak, but Corcoran Elite and um, actually kill this. Also seems rather terrible. I go 7 to face here. I think I actually have to kill this. I can play a, a grind the game because I have the curator. It's gonna draw me three cards next turn. But yeah, that that potion was really brutal. <laughs> I was afraid that he would have a dragon in hand. 
very good body though. Bookroom plus fierce monkey. <laughs> it has to be the play. Man, this uh, Draconid operative is really messing with me. Hey, Tio. Still has a card that he kept in his opener in his hand. What the fuck? Okay, good pickup. Let's do that. Let's do this. And uh, let's do things completely out of order because we suck. I was gonna play the other three guys, but uh, then I realized that he still has flame strike left. Better to do this. Volcanic. I need something else to kill everything though. I have no clue if this was from his, uh, if it's from his stack or it's actually from Babbling Book or something. I think it would have flame striked if I had it. So seven, eight. Pitcher is life up. No flame strike, no blizzard. I want to hit a strike because otherwise his flame strike is still an incredible out. Oh well. Uh, it's still alright if he flame strikes and can play a 9 9. That is easier for him to deal with than a rag would be. Oh well, both rag and potential 9 9. Thank you, Dan. Thanks a lot. I want to bring back Spotify. I want to bring Spotify up again because I don't think that's gonna make the stream lag. All right. 
Did it to my rag. Oh, wow. No, I got the warning the second I opened Spotify. Fuck my life. Wait, can we kill him? We can pop him. So this is out. This is only out. Okay, nice. Yeah, usually you win this matchup just because you have more big threats than they have uh, big removal. That, that's like the weakness of. That's why Flame Read Faceless is so good against Reno Mage 2 because they just don't have that much big removal, I guess. This hand has potential, that's for sure. <laughs> Corcoran is quite good against Priest. What happened to the hair? I just haven't fixed it. I'm actually probably getting a haircut here in China and try gonna try to do something different with it. But uh, we'll see, I haven't really decided yet. I don't know, Ch change it up a little bit. It's uh, It's been like this for a pretty long time now. I'm getting bored. Alright. Uh, if he spends next turn playing death, that's okay with me. So I'm just gonna make this as big as possible. Since they coined the. Uh, it's called Bran, I think, has another free drop in hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy. Oh, didn't really expect that one. 
Oh shit, that actually screws me up a whole lot. The 4 damage mode is gonna be very good against me. I can get... Uh, if I Finley and get the Rogue Hero Power, or just draw a weapon naturally. That'd be really good for me because I can't kill uh, Twilight Garden. I actually have a lot of good draws. Plan is good against the things you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I played Flamelands in the group stage, but... I'm not convinced it's actually correct to play it. Uh, I think it's Finley tried to find Rogue Hero Power. Oh wow, that's such a good draw. Don't Reno, please make this game easy for me. Uh, I actually think that if you look at the deck list from the VSG finals, like most of us played the. Oh, he did one mana potion? Uh, if you look at the final deck list from VSG, uh, all, of, uh, all of the good players' lists looked very similar. I think, um, I think that's a very, very good starting point. For where you want to be with Reno Mage. I thought we got really close to the optimal one at least. Thanks a lot, Serian. I. Like, without sounding too full of myself, I think we're gonna see a whole lot of me. I feel like my. My Hearthstone game is on a very different level than it has been before. And I'm like. I'm really proud of my performances lately. Like I'm 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 usually very good at criticizing myself and like whenever and like no whenever I play well or when I don't. And I haven't really been able to say that I've been like on top of my game before this, but now I actually feel like I'm pretty close to being where I want to be with my half and play. Yeah, even if he if he doesn't kill this and even if he heals his face instead of the nine nine, if he like hits here, Reno's heals this, I can black and corruptor go face. Um, yeah, I think that list is still very good for ladder. I love Bookworm. <laughs> this card is like, oh my god. Wait, did I just fucking miscount? <laughs> I couldn't kill him at all with that. Oh my god. He was at 9, wasn't he? Um.
Okay, so far so good. I think I have a very good record so far. Uh, I don't like keeping execute against Roman. It's like nice to have when they have their flame brief faceless, but I'd rather just have a consistent good curve. Because otherwise you lose to everything else that isn't flame brief faceless. This is for example the situation where you're never swinging with the weapon. As against Shaman you could very likely get uh, use of all three hits and they don't have ooze or anything. You don't and you're not holding a war axe. If you if you have war axe in hand you almost always uh, attack right away. Uh that seems like an incorrect coin patches. Uh, that was about that someone kept logging in onto my Hearthstone account while I was playing. Um, and it was like on a Blizzard God account, so it wasn't on my personal one, so I had no control over who actually had access to the password and shit. Um, it was really weird. Hmm. Yeah, 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 overloaded that turn. I'm just gonna execute slam. And have a good curve coming up. Just gonna equip another weapon. Hopefully, gate class. I guess I value free damage to face. Yeah. More than I. Like, I trade free for one damage there every time, I think. Even though it costs me a weapon charge. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Nice that you like it, Nona. What happened to the hair? Yeah, you just haven't fixed it. <laughs> it takes a lot of time, and I'm I'm just lazy today. Be a slam rag still though. Ah, double toilet garden looks pretty good as well. I actually think I like double toilet garden. Kinda hard for him to get through. And we can follow up with drag. I guess it's correct. Any point in playing this? I guess this is like another minion needs to clear, it's not doing anything in my hand. 
and turn anything by holding it. Oh. Should have attacked face first, I guess. Coin, I guess the key toilet garden. Probably would never keep it off coin, I don't think. I should have thought about that one longer. I should probably mulligan the toilet garden. I can never afford to use hero power on turn 2 versus druid and uh, I have a lot of good draws that I can play next turn. Alright, that was not one of them, that's, that's bad for me. Oh, he was setting up for his swipe, how cute. Because I assumed that I had another free drop because I coined a Fierce Monkey. Uh, we next leveled him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, four missing our turn free. Or, ha like, I guess our hand is as good as it gets. gonna equip a weapon in a couple of turns that on the Draconid Crusher so I shouldn't attack. Boot face. Boot face. <laughs> no. <laughs> what the fuck? This would have been the best book we've ever in history. I barely knew this card existed. Pokemon, <laughs> why? No. Uh, I love Hearthstone. I, I he is like some super heavy taunt druid. That that's for sure. Yeah, that's. I much rather want this Ancient of Blossom than Dark Arako in my deck. For some reason.
puts a lot of pressure on board and gives me a good follow up rag. I think I like it. <laughs> Solid arena stats. <laughs> Playing the right, wrong format, buddy. Thanks, Sikon. Oh, I take the 50 50 lethals when I see you one. God damn it, Rick. So confused. Meanwhile, my opponent only gets busted minions from Mulch. I get lovely, lovely Squire. We know he has swipe from his opener because he set it up on our fierce monkey, but killing this, having used this Mulch, shouldn't be the easiest for him. This is a second Mulch, I swear to god. Double swipe, plus Frav. What? Alright. I'm bad at counting. Okay, it wasn't lethal. Take it, boy. I was gonna say that maybe he's Reno Druid, but he played double raft, double roots. Why did you <laughs> That Ancient of Blossoms is messing with my head. Mist Inspire. Yeah. That may have been on that may have been on purpose. Neo we're drawing. Okay. Alright. Don't think we lost since we were on zero stars. Frothing's so good, but the curve is awkward if I keep it. Maybe it's still correct. I think we can ship it. Any one drop or two drop makes this hand busted.
I up against control of the wire. Why no Grom? Uh, you don't have activators for Grom. Grom is really bad without activators, and you only have a slam that activates him. So, he's not very good. If I were to play another top end card, I'd play Deathwing. I don't think he's bad at all in this deck, honestly. Let me her face. Oh, Creator's a good draw. Even though we won't get a beast now, because we actually. We actually drew a double Fierce Monkey, which is unlucky, but uh, Finley is so important in this matchup, so... Actually, it's like the most important minion you get from the creator in the control matchup is one drop, which is ironic, but... It's what it is. Oh, not so honest. come on. Just go face. If you start seeing a lot of Dragon Warrior on ladder, just put Sylvanas in your deck. It's the single handedly best card against this deck. I remember during VSG, like, all I was really looking for in my opponent's deck list was if they had Sylvanas or not. Oh my god, what is that? What is happening? I mean, he has Brawl, so. So he's just trying to set that up. Really? If I play Finley. His sprawl's getting better, but...
revenge, probably. Oh, double revenge rabbit angle. Block. Still have patches left in my deck. I shouldn't have said anything. Oh. <laughs> the core crumb. Wait, I can't. Never mind. I haven't used an execute yet. It's, it's like most man efficient play. Oh god. I hate when people do this because they never, ever, they never in history has anyone gotten punished for doing that versus me. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck you. It's like. <laughs> Yes, no. Yes, no. You see, they played an acolyte, and you're like, that doesn't make sense. And then they brawl, and you're like, oh, <laughs> we're doing this again. Fuck, man. Gives up to nine. Seven damage. I need the core crown. I have two left in my deck. Mm. Tapping the Corcoran won't help now. Should probably honestly just execute this. Should probably tap too. Not a good idea to give him an easy, uh, easy execute activator. Hey Tom, how's it going? Richest, richest man in Sweden. Well, I definitely moved up the list, but 
there. I want to show it on stream. Let's just pretend it's so. I, I think it looks awesome. There. Looks so cool. Uh, yes, Diamond, you can ask me a question. Mm. Is it real silver? Mm, no. I mean... I don't know how to tell, but pretty sure now. Uh, with this hand, I don't like keeping Finley. It's not that good against Shaman, and we already have a one drop. Oh my god, give me a soft first mate. Holy shit, I'm, I'm a great Halfstone player. Uh, yes, I can do that after this game. This is where we pray he doesn't have Maelstrom Portal. I'm conquest with ban. Um, I would bring rogue, agro shaman, dragon warrior, and. Where do my last deck be? Rogue Agro Shaman Dragon Warrior. Like, Reno Mage. Ban. Shaman. I don't know, I haven't really... I haven't really thought about the the format a lot of the VSG, but um, I think you should absolutely have Rogue in your lineup. I think it's the best or second best deck at the moment. You should always have Shaman in your lineup, and uh, I think Agro Shaman is superior than midrange at the moment. Some sort of warrior. And uh, then the fourth deck can be, I mean, really it could be whatever. Definitely gonna make a 9-9 nine -nine here. Yeah, I think this deck doesn't really have any terrible matchups. It has some not favorable ones, but it's really good against the top decks. Or, it's really good against most top decks, and even its bad matchups are, like, fine. That's why I like the deck so much. Uh, yeah, Banning Shaman is usually good, um, especially when you have Rogue in your lineup. Does he have the weapon? 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's... <laughs> oh, why, does, why does this happen to me? Why? <laughs> <sighs> um, the bands I like is like Shaman and yeah, like r Rogue Band can help a lot too, depending on what your what your lineup is. Like if you want to bring things like Druid, that that can be good. Hmm. I think I think this. Uh, I can't see like my chat is weirdly cropped out, uh, so I can't see. How do you deal with? Oh wait, warrior. Uh, oh, how do you deal with warrior as rogue? Uh, you don't. It's uh, or well, well you, you can it, like, but it's not easy. Uh, you try to uh, you try to just make a ten ten Edwin on like a very early turn and hit him in the face three times. Uh, or okay, you, you try to make a big Edwin and hit him in the face a couple of times, but that is the only way you win. Questing works too, but it's way harder. Mm. You have to be very very aggressive. Um, as Rogue versus warrior, but you can you can never since you don't have any defensive tools, you just have to be super aggressive and try to race them, which they are obviously way better than you at. But that's why it's a bad matchup. Yeah, yeah, you use high roll, Edwin. Hmm. Yeah, we we were on like a eight or nine win. We like. Eight or nine win game win streak. I can't talk. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Lol. Alrighty. I don't remember if this was the control warrior guy we played against earlier. We got our answer. That's very good for me. Red Corsair, no puzzle reader, please. That's fine. Shana, Shana, Eric. Rare. No, in fact, I'm still in China. Uh, gonna stay here for a bit. I have a tournament coming up. Or well, hopefully I have a tournament up. It's not... Nothing is uh, finalized yet, but... Uh, my shine is not running out for some time, so I figured I might as well stay here. Okay. And Red Cursor. Well, there's one card left. This should be... Quite easy for me. Hmm. 
Ah, uh, yeah, second second place. I'm a little bit salty, but uh, I don't really think I'm in a position to complain. It was like life changing money. I think I played well throughout the tournament, and I want I wanted that win real bad, but I honestly I just think it's uh, healthy that um, to, to want to win. I, I think if I I would be more worried if I wasn't disappointed. Maybe I should just fear smoke it here. I should definitely taunt up this turn. With two taunts I can't ever lose this game. And if I Draconite Crusher there, uh, he can just Dark Knight Reaper me and possibly kill me. Also, like if I play Draconite Crusher there, I don't have a dragon for Twilight Garden. Yeah, yeah, th this deck is like incredibly good. <laughs> yeah, I guess I've always... I will spin. What up, Wasya? Um, thank you. Um, sorry if I'm not like that active in chat, but I'm I'm on one. I'm trying to get used to just being on one screen and having a hard time. I mean, my opponent is super dead here. Right, I guess we'll play that. Uh, I'm gonna try to be streaming like a lot more the next few weeks uh, while I'm in China because I don't really, I can't really do a whole lot from here. So I might as well, like, if I ever had an opportunity to start focusing on streaming, this this is it. Like, so I'm gonna try to keep it up like daily. Okay, two more. 14 and 4. Pretty solid record. Um, I, I think um, the South Sea Captains are really good in Pirate Warrior. I, I definitely prefer the list that plays two South Sea Captains. Because those lists are better against the Dexter trying to be good against you. Uh, if that makes any sense. Uh, in Rogue, I haven't got to try it yet. But... Uh, yeah, yeah, I just haven't got to try it, so I can't really talk about it. Hmm. Did the stream get choppy? Because my internet connection is... I don't know. Okay, something's weird with Hofstra. Just give me a second. I also can't wait to get Legend on EU, because then I can switch to NA, which is way less uh, laggier than EU is, while I'm here. But I wanted to get the Legend on EU first. Yeah, what's happening with Hearthstone? What the fuck?
did like the EU servers go down or something just now? Because it worked perfectly until just a second ago. I tried to log into NA and see what happens. Weird. Why is halves are not working? Is something happening with the VPN I'm using? Because I think there's like a VPN installed on the network I'm using right now. This is weird. Okay, I mean, NA didn't work. Now we just got in, but it seemed kind of sketch. Yeah, the connection is like really slow here too. Like 16. Okay, we know that we get in onto NA. I'm gonna try to log onto EU again and just hope that that was a temporary, temporary problem. And finish up the grind there. We're going to NA anyway later on, but... EU is up, okay, okay. So I guess it's something. My connection here. What do you think about Blood Tiger in your deck? I like Slam a lot better. I think Slam is a better Blood to Iker. They would add the second slam before they added the first blood. I think Blood Tiger might be better in lists that run fairy dragons, but I really dislike the dragon warriors that run fairy dragons. Try Asia server, I would, but I actually just don't have cards on Asia at the moment. So, if you would like to see some like free to play stream, I could uh, I could play on Asia, but that was not something I had in mind to do. Even though I want to find a dragon, I'm not gonna pass up on our best free drop. Oh my god, give me a dragon. Go River Crocolisk. Another free drop. Uh, dragon. Oh, 
He needs a volcanic potion to go. No, he needs arcane blast to go with volcanic potion. Otherwise, my frothing just gets huge. He's on four mana, so we're gonna do a buttload of damage to him right now. I'm a retard. I really just am a retard. <laughs> Why do I live? Why am I allowed to be alive? It's like a very relevant. Hello? 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 Game? Game? What the fuck game? Why? Well... Uh... Okay... Cool... Cool... I didn't want to do that attack anyway, honestly... Life tap. Oh, not, a, not a bad draw. Don't Reno. It's like quite likely to have Reno, but. Honestly, I really don't want to keep playing from this point, but... I guess it'd be kind of cool if I win. Only a restart could have helped to me. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, I've seen that before. But... Very hard to beat. <laughs> if he's <laughs> it's just a ladder game, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm fine. It's just a ladder game. I mean, I can keep playing Haymakers, so this is... Even playing Reactive is absolutely not that bad for me. They have all the cards in the... Like, as long as he doesn't take initiative, I'm gonna win the game, even if he has 9 cards in hand. As long as I don't... Like, screw up. Reno Mage does not have enough resources to deal with your entire deck, and the, when you get life tap, it's very easy to. Oh! Nice! Is it Flame Strikes me now? Blizzard. Just gonna Blizzard into Flame Strike.
Jag tror worst fall av det. Sucks that I can't play around Flame Strike. He's not gonna play it, I need this for exit, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're, we're low enough that he will probably just be able to kill us soon. Alright, let's game. Frag. On the bright side, we would not have won even if we got that uh, Quarkon attack in. This deck's really good against aggro. Uh, it's favored against Pirate Warrior and against Shaman. Uh, if you count Rogue as aggro, it's not great against Rogue. The same guy. We mm, talked about the Twilight Guardian earlier, and I still think I kind of like it. It is one of the matchups where you can kind of afford to not hit every early game drop. Hey Kaiva, what up? So, all right. Ugh. This thing is great and all, but it certainly has some awkward synergies within the deck. Nose, please. I do not like to see a nose here. Jesus, thank you, Jay. Thank, thanks for the subscription. Well, welcome to the fruit basket and all. How are you doing, Jay? I haven't talked to you in a while. Yeah, right. You you were subscribed to me before. I forgot about that. Uh, okay, let's get him. Yeah, thanks so much. Does it does it coin arcane boss? <sighs> oh my god, food poison is I'm I guess I'm like kind of lucky that I haven't gotten food poisoned. I've been eating some weird food here. So sorry. It was uh, it was a very long time ago, wasn't it? Oh. 
How do I get Ragnaros turn? Oh shit. No, the blizzard was from Babbling Book. I thought the I thought the secret was from Babbling Book. That could have possibly been disastrous for me. Mm. Shit. Not flame strike. Oh he has flame strike. Oh my god. This is gonna be a tough one. Especially since her friend is holding Reno. Okay, that's good. Unsubbed. I mean, you were sub for at least a minute, so I'll take it as a victory. Who plays Mind Control Tech and Reno Mage? I think I need to mulligan the free. Uh, if I fiddle into your power into this curve, I think that's good enough. I think it's greedy for me to mulligan the free. But if my one drop is anything but Finley, it's like I'm, it might be so that I should mulligan both of these. But I think only because it's Finley and my hero power is probably not going to be useless on turn two, which it usually is. Um, I think it's correct to keep all of it. If you keep frothing a great toilet garden. There's twice. Well, wind trading is pretty nice too. What the actual fuck? I'll take it, there's one legend. <laughs> we take those. Uh, I like. Um, I I think uh, Holden. Uh, I mean, Dragonfire Potion is really bad. I'm a huge fan of Holden Orba. No. Um, okay, so I think that logic is kind of flawed. That Nova is uh, only good when you're ahead on board. I mean, you're playing a deck that is like you're playing a very board centric deck, and Nova sure like Nova is unbeatable while you're ahead. And it's like probably like one of the best cards you can have while even on board. Oh, he discarded. Uh, he discarded Shadowfall and made that attack too. Wow, the dream. Um, 
so it's um, it's like unbeatable when you're ahead. It's uh, one of the better cards. It's just yeah, it's like really really good uh, while even on board. And it's it's bad when behind, but so is your deck. Like if you play a dragon fire potion to come back from behind, like you don't have you don't have like swing cards to catch up from ahead anyway. So like, what's the point? Um, it's painful, but I have to do this. I I really don't think this is like sure did I I agree that they both have upsides and uh, downsides but I really don't think it's that much of an argument about that more than like Nova is just a better card. I, do I have patches left in my deck? Oh I do. Sick. How's China? China is China sweet. Uh, I'm having a good time. <laughs> Maybe I should trade into Kasakis. Bigger body, I guess. Uh, I I play double Nova. Um, yeah, for for ladder I play double Nova. I I can show you what deck list I would use for ladder if I were to play priest. I think priest is like really good at the moment too. It's just that I prefer to play this deck when tryharding. That's like totally a personal preference thing. I think I killed him, sir. Yeah, I can't let him get initiative. Even though this ooze is really, really annoying. With the second I give him an initiative, I probably lose. The be the best deck in is actually Reno Dragon Priest. That's a that's a bold statement you make, there, buddy. That's a bold statement. I know, I'm in the mindset on ladder, I'm just like, I think it's incorrect to play MC Tech in the Reno decks. So, I tend to not play around it. I don't know if that's reasonable or not.
There's no siphon sword, please. No siphon, and we're good. Oh, this is siphon. Oh, okay, okay. Then I need to find a dragon. Hmm? Okay. I think it's correct to use hero power. I don't think a 2 6 is doing a whole lot on board. Face is probably the best right now. Even if he has your Raxus, that's not great for him. I'm just kind of forced into playing it here. Okay, nice. So we have your Raxus, trade, trade. Go free to face. I'm in a very favorable position. Alright, alright, he has like PO or something. I guess he's gonna leave my rag up. Alright, seems like a winnable game. That of course helps a whole lot. Now there's no doubt about it, I just played this. He's forced to have a taunt giver here. Or that card. I forgot about Twisting Nether. Shit. Oh, fuck. That was bad. And a bit of lethal if I hero power. Okay, but I used Reno, Farseer, Refreshment Vendor. What does he even have left? Use his potion too, so he can't get armor. Okay, please combo too. I mean, I lost this game because I misplayed, so it, it, it's all right. It's all right, but yeah, yeah. If I had just done play the Twilight Card and Hero Power there, I'd win, so. Misplayed and got punished. It, it's how it should be. Like, uh, Uo, uh, you have to like give some context of the rank you are. To. It's like different at different ranks. It's the same guy. Yeah, it's the same guy. He was emoting me and shit, so I just gonna squelch him right away. I actually want to play some Rogue today, but M maybe I'll do that on NA, I don't know, or I'll just save it for tomorrow. Demon Wrath, oh, here. give me something. It's missing free damage here. Or nah, if I do this attack, he um, he can't play like the play a four drop, which he can if I just go face. Like Senyan is a very good play if I just if I go face here, and if I trade into Cabal Cure, it's a pretty bad one. Right. 
That's really good for me. I know this guy has nether, Firaxis, and combo. So I guess he like doesn't have... I don't know. Actually. Uh, that's a pretty terrible draw. He can't nether me next turn. This and this. It's the best. Best play versus. I am, wait, I'm actually so confused. Like, I, I bet this is gonna play some card that blows me out, and it's gonna be very obvious what I had for doing that play, but. The only thing I can think of is, like, P.O. Shadow Flame, and. How does he. How does he even mind control take in his deck, too? What the fuck? Mm, super dead. Hey Messi, uh, I'm, I'm I'm doing good, doing good. <laughs> I care about my life. How are you doing? Mm, keeping Twilight Garden off coin is awkward. Like one of your better catch-up cards. I think I have to ship it off coin. It's so important that I find a one drop. I <laughs> the bonus thing, I the card deck. Yeah, I don't know, like, he, he must have done some very interesting cuts considering he had Sanyin, Defender, Jiraxus, Combo, MC Tech, Twisting Nether. I am very interested to see how he figured out that that would be the optimal build to run. <sighs> Kept this enter hand. Interesting. I'm actually... Hmm, I'm actually surprised that I haven't faced more mirrors. Like, I thought, I thought the deck would be pretty popular. Face, face, face. Quick. Go. Sadly, no life tap, but what can you do? Um, very likely to swing with Warax next turn, considering that they kept the center hand. And the control warrior runs Harrison. Uh, this is awkward. <laughs> 
Top two VSQ but not fail fish. They might be that might be a little bit correlated considering uh, I haven't had time to ladder while preparing for VSG. Oh, I already had patches this game. This is a good Harrisonic acid. Oh, it doesn't have it. Lucky. Blackwing? Yeah, 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 no, I'm, I'm not worried. I was, I was explaining. No, but I guess it's not bad. So, it would have such juicy bookworms. If only. Bookworming and Valley Armor Smith is something your opponent very rarely gets back from. But I think we got this game. I don't know. We have to drop very badly to not win here. It's probably hoping to execute whatever survives, so that is pretty pog champ. So is that. Like, we have two Draconid Crushers, the Creator, Brag, Double Asher Drake, Core Corn Elite. Like, all those are like incredible draws for us. GG. Uh, Infested Torrent, so he was in soft. In soft warrior. Hmm. Thinking. <laughs> oh, you're a Spo sub? Who would sub to Spo, really? Uh, are you keeping a slam? No, I almost never. I never keep slam. I don't think. Yeah, there's no matchup. I ever keep slam. A two drop, a free drop, like literally anything would help here. Come on. I think I still like this better than just War Axing Pass. I knew that was a possibility, but any pirate, like literally anything, would have really helped me. Um, can I get this attack in while I can? I guess I have Blackwing Corruptor next turn. Red Mulligan for dragons or pirate. This depends. Like if you have an Alex Ross as champion, you like really want to. Uh, you really want to find a dragon, but. Um, like small time buccaneer is like usually a better keep than And I mean small time buccaneer and Alex as champions are just your best keeps, so you you look for both. Uh I don't keep execute versus shaman. I don't keep execute ever. 
Unless they have like small time Buccaneer and Soft's first mate, Alex Ross as champion. Like, and. Uh, and execute on coin with, say, Reno Lock. Then, then I probably. Then I probably keep. Keep it. Mm, I like Book Firm here. It's a pretty good Book Firm, honestly. It's also pretty good in Soft's first mate plus Asher Drake. The group is a little bit better against the sweepers. And they already use Water Elemental and Doomsayer, which are the premium bookworm targets. I mean, Execute is a good card in the deck, but it's not a fireball from Battle Book. Really. I have, I have no idea what I just did there. I in my oh my god oh my god that's a bit, oh jeez sorry I I blanked out in my mind I was like I'll do this play so I can play a nine nine and then I guess he was out to pilot it and attack the one one. Oh, oh no. Hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in, indeed, Indoran. Broke back, indeed. Here you go. This is how we get second place in BSG. Yep. <laughs> that would have not killed my Dracoid Crusher if this streamer. Was actually any good at this game? Uh, use both Blizzard Flame Strike. Kind of just want to spam the board. I got very specific co combination needed, and it's not like it's even winning in the game. Uh, can't pop him. Oh, as long as it doesn't have Reno, I get to play this 9-9. Nine -nine. Like, as long as I get this 9-9 nine -nine in play, it actually doesn't even matter if you top text Reno, because the 9-9 nine -nine is likely to just go the distance on its own. Will you ever do a Swedish stream? I don't see the... I don't see the point of doing a Swedish stream, because most people in Sweden talk such good English that uh, it's... Um, that it's not necessary to have your stream in Swedish. Oh, is that just the perfect draw? That is a very good draw. So yeah, um, 
like for if I lived in another country where people didn't know very good English, it probably makes sense for me to do a Swedish stream, like whatever language I speak stream. But uh, like Swedish just doesn't seem necessary. Final boss, then we can move on to NA. I think this is the first rogue we face today. It's very crazy. There we go. That's what a hand should look like. Let's go. <laughs> oh, oh why, am I, why did I say anything? What is wrong with me? Oh my god. Oh, thanks for that. Out of host, Navi. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I'm so sad. I felt so good about my life, then I drew the patches. Excuse me? Cool. Is there a Doom Senior Rogue deck? Is there some new list that I totally went over my head that I haven't seen? Not keeping Crusher, it's like your absolute worst card against. Uh, it's your absolute worst card against Rogue. You would, you'd never keep Crusher there. All right. It, it's not Creed. It's just correct. Okay, our hand is very smorky, which is what you want against Rogue. But I don't think it's uh, fast enough. That's the problem. Ooh, if he doesn't do anything else, I heavily disagree. He knows that I have patches in hand. He knows I have patches in hand, I can very easily kill his questing there. So I think I don't think he should move in there. Yeah, he he always has straight follow up. And there's no doubt about that. But oh, nice one. Do I hit? I don't think I need to. I would keep his CRA if I had Alex Ross as a champion in hand. Yeah, that's incorrect. You should change that behavior. I mean, I guess, like, Doomsayer, in theory, makes sense in uh, Rogue. Because all you're trying to just set up is, like, your power turns, and Doomsayer is very good at doing that. I just don't think it's, like, a great card at the moment. Because even the aggro decks can, like, kill a turn to Doomsayer, which is... ridiculous, honestly. Second Cold Blood. Huh. 
I think I need to grind them out. It's low on cards. And he's not playing anything. So, as long as I don't like, give him the kill, like let him lethal me, should be good here. I don't really need to pressure because he. Uh... Oh. Whoops. But I had one more mana. This turn was not very good then. I thought I could trade her. Fierce Monkey. Whoops. Uh, not the correct play that turn. <laughs> but still, the whole taunt game plan actually works out really well. Yeah. Yeah. If you have double Alex Champion, then then you probably keep the then you probably keep uh, say Isera or Deathwing. Actually, even somewhat matchup dependent. If, if you do that, I think your deck three would not do that. Also, of course, depending on how many dragons you run with seven dragons, like I almost always keep a dragon with double Alex Champion. But like if we're up to eight or nine dragons, I might very well consider just chipping it. 